Shalom, 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 giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shah, Bahasham, Rechakodash. All right, that belongs to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone for teach me this truth. Um, and who rule well, and peace and salutations to all you all came out there preaching this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. Well, lifting up that banner of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shah, Bahasham, Rechakodash. <sighs> and to you, I say Shalom, Shalom, here for the beyond. Um, like I said, man. Um, this is the uh, this is about the Shamaria, all right, GMS Indiana coming at you with another lesson, and this lesson is going to be about um, serving the Lord, man. All right, this lesson is going to be about those that's not serving the Lord. It's going to be targeted towards you, you know, not the brothers already in the know. But like like I said, man, doing these lessons to help not only. The audience but i also helps myself man stay sharp you know without further ado let me go ahead and get the um the scriptures that i have man uh first scripture i want to get is uh deuteronomy all right this is uh deuteronomy oh sorry 30. Thirty and six. Actually, the last. All right, Deuteronomy thirty and s thirty and nineteen. And I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both. It says that both thou and thine seed may live. It says that thou mayest love the Lord thine God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thine life and the length of thine days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. All right, so the Lord, basically in this scripture, uh, Moses was saying, I've set before you life and death. Everything that you do is according to the Lord. Let him let him do it because you told because he told you to do it. But everything you disregard and you know that your mind thinks about doing that he told you not to do, man, keep that in subjection. Because what is death and what is life? Alright? He said, I said before you what? Life and death these days. Let me get what life is and then we get what death is. Because, because honestly, not keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments is death. Because what the wages of sin is death. And what is sin? Transgression of the law. All right, that's 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 Bible one hundred and one. All right, what is what is sin? Transgression of the law. All right, uh, how is not keeping the law death? All right, the wages of sin are death. But deeper into it. I'm going to get what life is. Life is the keeping of the laws. This is Baruch. The fourth chapter and the first verse. It says, this is the book of the commandments of God that the law and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. All right. So if you don't follow what the Yahweh Yahushua said to follow, man, you're going to die. This is, is one of the many examples of what life and death is. So the scripture said, what well, I said before you, life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both and like how both you, both thou and thy how and thy seed may live. All right, now Joshua, he said the same thing. Not Joshua. Joshua. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Right there, Joshua. Twenty, I don't forget. Twenty-three. Yeah. Uh, I just 
looked it up. Twenty-four, fifteen, Joshua twenty-four, verse fifteen. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. All right, so that's just plain cut and dry, man. He gonna he gonna serve the Lord because he's a man of the Lord, and man of the Lord desire life rather than wickedness, man. But these people they desire wickedness more than life. All right, which I said you could be actually living, you could actually be living and breathing, but you're still not alive. Because why? Because the Book of Tobit actually says that all those that sin. Are an enemy into their own life. Let's see if I can remember where it's at. Six and twelve. Wrong. Uh, I gotta get it in my pocket for. Socky, you're gonna have to bear me for a minute. Twelve and ten. Twelve and ten. It's the book of Tobit, chapter twelve, verse ten. Like I said, man, if you sin, you enemy to your own life. It says, "But they that sin are enemies to their own life, because what the wages of sin is death. So if you commit sin, then you're killing yourself, man. It just hasn't manifested yet. All right." Example of what life is. This is the book of uh, Psalms. It's like it, 33 18. Sorry, Proverbs 8. I'm, I'm thinking of another scripture. Proverbs 8 and 32. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children. For blessed are they that keep my ways, because keeping the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is what life. All right, keeping the ways of the Lord is it bring up life. It says, "Hear instruction and be wise, and refuse it not." Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. So you're waiting for the Lord to, 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 if you're waiting at the post of anybody's doors, you're waiting for them to speak to you, for them to come to you. All right, so if you're waiting at the post of the Lord's doors, then you're waiting for the Lord to speak to you, man, to sup with you. All right? You're waiting on the Lord to, to, to bring you up. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it says, uh, for whoso findeth me findeth life. And shall obtain favor of the Lord, but he that sinned against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that love and that hate me love death. So there's a separation right there. All they that hate Yahweh Shemi Shai love death. Because there's only way there was only one way to, to, to look for righteousness, man. And it's with the men that he set up. All right, but these people they don't want to hear it, man. They don't want. They don't want. They don't want life. You understand? It's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 18. And he believed on him is he that believe on him is not condemned. But he that believe not is condemned already. See, that's part of the light, believing that Yahweh is the one that came and saved everybody. 
It says, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. And men's love dark men love darkness rather than light for that exact reason. Because your deeds are evil. And in order for you to get right, you have to stop doing what you're doing, but niggas can't do that. Alright? Only someone of a strong will can do that. You understand? Um, from there, what do I want to get next? Yeah, the next verse. It says, everyone, yeah. Verse 20, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. See? Everyone that doeth evil hate the light. What's hating the light? The life. The light. The life is all representation of the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. All right. It says, but he that doeth, he that doeth truth cometh to the light, and his deeds may be made manifest that they were wrought, what they were wroth in Yahweh. All right. So they don't like. The life, they don't like the, the the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of the Lord because it, it calls for them to have discipline about their lives. It calls for them to actually have, uh, that for them not to have feelings, man. All right? It, it, it's like it calls for them to, to only totally rely on their feelings rather than logic, man. To put it plainly, they love committing the, the, the works of the flesh because they don't want to get right. They hate the light. All right, because at least they look. What to say? At least their evil, at least his evil deeds be reproved, and he don't want to be reproved, man. He don't want to be corrected. All right, he want to keep committing evil. They just been committing. All right, from there, let me get Isaiah chapter one and eighteen. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Actually, let me get that word reason. That word reason in that particular scripture is talking about reproof or rebuke. All right. Uh, what was it? <sighs> uh, um, like Isaiah. I just forgot that quick. The book of Isaiah. I wanted to get that word. Isaiah 1 and 6. 1 and 18. It's lucky. Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now, let us reason together. What's that word reason? To, to prove, to decide, to judge, to rebuke, to reprove. And then they say in the book of John, says what? It says they hate the light because at least their evil deeds should be reproved, and they don't want to be reproved, man, because they hate the light, just like a dog, just like a dolphin, man. Hate knowledge, hate the light, you know. But honestly, hopefully speaking, man, let me keep going. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be like red, though will they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So we're basically saying that the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is going to forgive you of your sins. All right, even though no matter how many sins you have done before the truth, man, if you want to be reproved and corrected in, in, in the right way and conformed in the right way, all right, then, then you're going to have to deal with it, man. You just got to have to deal with it. That's what men do. Men just deal with it. You know? Verse 19. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord have spoken it. We all know when the Lord speaks, man, things happen. All right? Things happen. So let me get what these people have done. These people have, have chosen death rather than life. All right, let me get the book of Jeremiah, the eighth chapter, verse three. Jeremiah eight and three, and death shall be chosen rather than life, 
by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remaineth in all or which remaineth in all the in the places whether I have driven them, saith the Lord of hosts. So death is going to be chosen rather than life. That's what it's talking about. So choose ye this day who you will serve. All right. And the scriptures talk about make notarians that turn to the Lord, for suddenly shall the wrath come upon you. All right. But two thirds of our people won't follow him anyway. Give me one more, and I'm going to close it up with this. I believe it's Isaiah like 20. I want to say 8, 15, something like that. There it is. Like I said, uh, this is Isaiah 28 and 15. Because ye have said we made a covenant with death, and with hell we are in agreement, but the overflowing scourge shall pass through. It shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hid ourselves. And that's exactly what our people did, man, by what? By, by, by not following the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of the Heavenly Father. That's exactly what they did, all right? They made a covenant with death and, and think that they're not going to be touched by the oncoming onslaught, man. But we're here to tell you that we are going to be touched. And it's in a way that you're not going to like, all right? With that, man... Hope this video was edifying to the elect of Israel. And, you know, giving all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Shemiah, Oshah, Shemiah, Kakudash. Till next time, I say Shalom.